Welcome into the Sunday sermon. And uh, I'm drink some coconut water here. Where's this one from? I got this from Trader Joe's. They're from uh, pasteurized. Blah, blah, blah. I hate that pasteurized stuff because um, product of Brazil. Not bad, not bad. So far, the only country I don't like that comes from is uh, is Philippines. Uh, so let me keep on going. Uh, pretty good. Uh, as you know, we read from, uh, this is our scripture, our Sunday scripture, our everyday scripture, actually. Uh, um, you know, there's other there's other scripture books, you know, the Bible, the Gita, whatever. Uh, there's Mayan text, there's uh, the Holy Quran, the Holy Bible, there's, there's a bunch of other stuff that you can, you can go there. there um, I guess the Rastas, no, they, they do the Christian thing, the Bible. Yeah, but this is uh, from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This edition happens to be the 2016 edition, and it's uh, the United Independent Compensatory Code System concept. It's a uh, a counter well, a compensatory counter racist uh, code book by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And this is the revised uh, expanded edition. And as it says here, people should know this. You know, with this this you read like I say, you read like scripture. You just you know like like you know. Like scripture, like like when I read the Gullah, when I read from, uh, where's my Gullah? Oh. Uh, every day, you know, so I can, I can read from the, the Gullah Bible, you know, it's the New Testament, Gullah Bible, that's scripture, you know, I read that uh, every day, well, almost every day, you know, I try, um, uh, but this only on Sundays we do this. But it's 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 a it's a textbook uh, workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Um, defines as white supremacy. Now this is this is a like I said, this is the 2016 edition, and it comes with a word guide. There's another separate thing, a word guide, and uh, but this the original one is the, the the 1984 edition, which I actually have, you know. I bound it up. It's down in South Africa, and we use that down at the Hotel House, uh, which is like a little community center that we, that we have down there. It serves the uh, well, well, it serves the the Baza community down there in the Eastern Cape. So that anyway. But last week, uh, we had read uh, and and put the book. He deals with uh, what he calls uh, nine areas of human activity, uh, and. Uh, that would be uh, economics, education, entertainment, uh, labor, law, uh, politics, which is uh, what he defines as uh, people relationships, uh, religion, sex, and war, counter war. Now we well, last week. Now usually uh, I I you know go someplace and pick some up, and before I do these, I just you know I sort of go over it, just figure out what I'm going to say. With the color Bible, what I do, I just I just pick up any place and just read because I'm trying to deal with the language and the, and the culture, but this, I do think, now last week, well, and we read this one section of, about stop cursing, I went into that, but uh, I decided, you know, rather than go to another page, and this is the area six of, of uh, politics, which he calls people relationships, uh, and this on page uh, 256 of, uh, of this edition, um, but I decided, I saw right next to it, it's called, uh, next, you know, there's a, the stop cursing was a third point in this, uh, in this section, this is the uh, fourth point uh, called "Stop Gossiping," and I decided, all right, this is I'm going to do this next week. Well, well, well I'm going to do this now. Uh, and, and hey, luckily for me, my sister, because I I left my reading glasses on one pair down in Virginia, but uh, up here in New York now. But uh, my sister sent sent me glasses. U.S. postal system. By the way, hey man, I was hanging out with uh, New World Warrior. So he's a veteran, and uh, and you know it's this darn shame what these politicians do because you know they really they really um, I, I don't want to use the well, term um, put the put the fangs <laughs> uh, to the postal system, and a lot of people in the postal system, you know, they they they're veterans. You know, they're uh, they're they're downtrodden, right? And it's a good job for them, but they put it so that it's almost impossible to work for them. Meanwhile, you know, 
they meaning the politicians, whatever. Have you. And it's it's just a darn shame. Anyway, but she sent it by the postal system. It's fine. It came in two days. That's good. I don't need any more than that. So something's got to be done. Instead of trying to, instead of, instead of uh, here's what they do. I'm sorry, going off. Uh, Joe the Biden, the bitter man guy. He just he's gonna he's gonna free all federal prisoners that that came up on marijuana charges, solely marijuana charges. This means absolutely because it's a federal prison, not the state prison, whatever have you. Which means like absolutely nobody who back in the day was. <laughs> You got to read the headlines, man. It's, it's 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 well. People read the headlines; they don't go into details. But it frees absolutely nobody because nobody is in federal prison solely for marijuana charge. They always pile stuff on, you know. So it's a shame, you know. It's just a shame. So I just had to go off on that because I don't know. But do they? Let's stay with the code. Uh, stop gossiping is the section here. To gossip, he puts that in quotes about a person is to say something about that person to someone other than that person that you would not be willing to say directly to that person at the same time and place with those other persons listening okay gossip promotes injustice and as you know, let me, well, I'll get back to it. Promotes injustice. Oftentimes, it leads to hostility, which in turn often leads to snitching, name calling, cursing, fighting, and or killing. Gossip promotes confusion and unnecessary suspicion. It serves no constructive purpose. Now, if you listen to Mr. Neely Foolish Jr., who comes on uh, on Tuesdays over the internet, over uh, Produce Justice uh, um, channel, then you will, you'll, you'll know that he's the, almost like the number one thing he wants to think is, is confusion. Like, in fact, it's, it's, uh, he has right in front of this book, he has this saying here that he wrote in, in 1971, it says, right? It says, if you do not understand White supremacy, which he says is racism, right? And I say it's a system of white supremacy. What it is and how it works, everything else that you understand will only confuse you. You see? So that gossiping promotes confusion, right? And there is, therein uh, lies a problem, you know, a huge problem, this confusion problem. Now, there used to be a thing, uh, I guess in the 70s, early 70s, 80s, something like that, where um, in an office you had what they call uh, memo wars, you know, where people would write uh, write memos and uh, and then, you know, you, you or, 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 or off, what do you call office gossip. And it was to undermine uh, somebody in the office. <laughs> somebody else you're sort of sabotaging them and they spread by gossip that's how, that's how they used to usually do it by by gossip and so that's why it's so dangerous i had a situation in fact let me this might be illustrative hey the brother used a big word this must be a bit illustrative uh and that we had the thing uh, uh at wbai radio when they had this the the infamous uh turn of this it well, it was happening like what, 2002, 2003. Uh, infamous coup, well, actually, it's 2002 at WBAI, and there was a lot of stuff going around. And this guy, uh, uh, well, this man's name, uh, uh, Clayton Riley. Wow, I said his name. No, he was part of the people trying to take over. And Bernard White, who was the uh, program director at the time, was sort of ousted. Well, sort of, he was ousted, right. So you had these two factions, and somehow my name got all involved, uh, you know, um, and and it was a thing where either uh, Clayton said something about me and Bernard, and, and it was somehow Bernard got involved, and they were like, so what I did on the radio, right, Clayton was doing his thing, I got Bernard up there, 
And I said, look, here's what's saying, blah, 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 blah. And I got those two. I said, I said now you see, I'm not in this. You two talk about it. And I left the room. So they had to deal with, with, with the gossip that was happening. So, so I mean, gossip can be very, uh, very harmful. Okay. So, uh, so, so, so with that, with just that little uh, thing, I'm trying to look up something here. I'm trying to, uh, uh, just a second. Uh, I'm going to have to highlight that. I have to find it another time, maybe next week. Um, so that's it. I mean, you, you know, we want to avoid confusion. And, and that's what people do, you know, especially with the age of the Internet. People don't have to gossip behind your back. They, they gossip and something is posted. right? And if nobody knows what that post, I mean, and then, and then people react to that post. And since it's like millions of people. That are, that are getting this post, where by the time it gets, whether they correct, even if it's correct, it's like newspaper, same thing. They say something or headline, something like that. And if they retract it or correct it, like a few days later, basically the stuff is already out there. So it's done. So then you you actually are now dealing with the the uh, the gossip, the lies, the the, the, the snitching, whatever it is, uh, the, rather than the it, you see. And therein lies a huge problem. Uh, so says uh, me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.